So you just want to add a basic radar to your game. Not a problem. Now shoutouts to Ask a Dev where I learned this from. Definitely check him out if you want to see the full length explanation for all this. But if you just want to see the node setup, for starters we're going to use these two images right here. The first is just a simple base radar design and the second image is the actual blips that will pop up on your radar which for me is just a simple 2x2 red square. First let's create a new material for us to use the textures. Change the surface to user interface and then change opaque to mask. Drag your base radar image in, connect it like so, then right click the image and turn it into a parameter. And now we'll turn that material into an instance, then duplicate that instance and for this one set the image to our blip instead. Cool. Now just to create some simple enemies for the radar, just duplicate the third person character, name it enemy base. Delete everything in the event graph, delete the follow camera and the camera boom and any random visual attachments, compile, save, and drag like three of them into the scene. From this point, we'll right click, create a new blueprint, and under all the classes, we'll look for HUD. Name it HUD Radar. From here, we go to the world settings and under game mode override, find that file, open it, and under HUD class, change it to the HUD Radar we just created. Now, we'll right click and create a new user interface, widget blueprint, user widget, name it, radar HUD components, open it, search canvas, and drag it down here, compile and save. And now we'll right click and create a new user interface, widget blueprint, user widget, name it radar map, open it and add the overlay and set the screen to custom. And we'll just set this to 300 by 300. Then drag an image into our overlay. And up here we can make the image stretch to fit the X and Y space. And under brush, we can set the design to our radar material instance. Now in the radar HUD components blueprint, we'll just find the radar map widget and drag that into the canvas. Set the anchor point wherever you want. I wanna draw it at the bottom left side of the screen. And I'm just gonna set the size to 300 by 300 to match. Then we zero out the positions, set alignment on Y to one. And just so it's not on the very corner we're going to add 20 pixels of pattern on the x and y degrees and in our hud radar open the blueprint editor and from the event begin play create a widget and set it to our radar hud components then drag out and add to viewport and if we save and run the game now you should see something in the corner now under the radar map in the graph we're going to make a new variable called enemy actors and it will be actor type and we want to make it into an array. We'll also want to create a new variable called detection range. Set it to a float. We don't want this to be an array. And now from the event construct, set timer by event and this will determine how often the radar checks for enemies. I'm just going to set it to 0.2 and we do want it to loop. Now we're going to create a custom event. We'll name it update detection, connect it like so. And just to test it, we'll use a print string and when the game runs every 0.2 seconds, we should get a message. Cool, looks like a it's working and now that we know it works we can replace that with actual logic grab the multi sphere trace for objects not a sphere trace for objects get owning player pawn get that location and then plug the detection range in here drag out and make an array set it to pawn and set debug type to duration and from the actor location add the value over here and we will just use 0, 0, 0,250 for the dimensions of the sphere. Drag everything together like so and set the draw time to 0.5 so we can see it. Now if we test the game, you can see the radar is actually picking up the enemies that are in the detection range. Okay, now we drag out a for each loop and break the hit results and get the enemy actors array. Add a unique and now we're going to go back and right click to create a new user interface, widget blueprint, user widget, and this will be our blips. If we open that, we can search for the canvas change the screen size to custom and we will set it to something like 10 by 10. Set its translation to negative five for the X and Y, drag an image into the canvas and under brush, we can set the design and we will set it to something like 10 by 10 and save. And now in our radar map blueprint, drag another canvas into the overlay, name it blip and check is variables. So now if we go to our blueprint, we can drag the blip directly in here. And from it, we will clear the children. And from the event tick, we will drag out our enemy actors, grab a for each loop, then grab a get actor location, drag a get owning play upon, get actor location, and we'll subtract them together like so. Then we normalize that, grab the detection range and the vector length, then divide them like this, then get a multiply, I'll just use 150, and from the normalize, multiply, but change the bottom to a float, and then connect it like so, and all this whole thing does is draw blips. Now we get another multiply, set it to one, one, zero, and from the for loop drag out a create widget. Set it to your blip, and from the return set render transform. Then get the blip, drag out an add child to canvas, 
and connect it from here. Now from the set render transform, make a widget transform, split these structures, then split these structures, connect the X and Y values, which tell our radar where to draw the blips. And now if we run the game, you will see that it's working, but the blips are offset a bit. To fix that, replace this multiply node with the plus node and set it to 150, 150, zero. And now it's almost fixed, but it doesn't respond to the camera. So to fix that, before we draw the transforms from the owning player pawn, drag a get control rotation from the minus get a rotate vector and connect them like so. Plug that into normalize and now get control rotation, drag a combine rotators and another multiply set to a negative one. Drag it in like this and set Z to negative 90. And now it should work. The only thing we need to do is make sure when the enemy leaves your range, they stop being drawn onto the radar. To do that, from the enemy actors list, drag out a clear node, connect it like so, and down under the vector length code, drag out a less than, and connect detection range to the bottom, then get a branch node and connect it to the condition you just created. And redirect the stream from the for each, and finally into the create widget, and you might have noticed that the radar also puts red dots where we are in the middle. And obviously we want the radar to ignore us. So to do that, just make sure that under actors to ignore, we make array connected to the player. And from now on, you change this number to control how often the radar scans the enemies. In my case, it's every 0.2 seconds. And you can change how far the radar can detect enemies from by adjusting the detection range. You're done. Congratulations, you now have a radar that you can easily adjust to better fit your game. And at the end of it all, you should have the following files. The enemy blueprint with nothing inside, a base material widget, and two material instances. One for the radar itself and the other for the blips. An HUD blueprint, a widget blueprint for the blip, a widget blueprint for the base radar itself, and a final radar map widget blueprint that puts it all together. And the node setup should look like this. As usual, if you're a patron in tier 2, you can just download all this from my Patreon. Otherwise, you can build it yourself for free by following the vid. But regardless, hope that helps. And as always, hope you have a fantastic day. And I'll see you around.